Is it time to finally short Bitcoin off of this harmonic trade setup? In this very video, I'm going to be sharing with you all the information you need to know in terms of this setup, in terms of what is next, the trades that I am in and the next best high probability setups that we have ahead of us. So I hope that you really, of course, enjoy this video, learn a lot from it and get ready for some even more and bigger profits together. So it's actually been quite a while since my last YouTube video update, right? I think over a week, I have been busy in the community of Chart Champions. It's been a crazy busy week, but I have enjoyed every second of it. And here we are. It's been a pretty nice week to remain long and chill, really. We had a few areas of interest. And although I haven't done a YouTube update, I have given some updates over on Twitter. And the last update uh, back on the 13th of September, you know, still remaining for looking higher at that point, above $59,000. Patience was really tested, but eventually we reclaimed. We went straight through it, right? Right, straight through $59,000. And then it was then, you know, patience paid off. No bearish reactions. Looking for above $60,000. And here today, we're at $63,000. Obviously, in the end, never really losing 60 k And it's like I was telling you then this morning over on Twitter once again. No short trades for me at all here on Bitcoin. I, of course, am still in my long trades. Looking for higher next. Just trading the charts and the probabilities as they update with new data. So still in in that long from the harmonic low at $53,400. What a trade that has been from looking at the low there of B. And so now we have to, uh, you know, look at this together and say, is this harmonic going to hold down price action? Of course, we originally had a viewpoint that it could be looking for around 59, 60, 61. Now here at 63, honestly, my friends, this harmonic for me is no longer the highest probability. I'm very happy with the harmonic, don't get me wrong. It aided me to get this long all the way down here at 60, 53, even better, $53,000. So this is the thing, right? The original trade setup was for the long at 53,400 where I got my fill. And that's where we had at that time that long 53,000 and now that's then target 59,000. OK, and so you can then see at this point, all we're interested in is longs down at fifty three thousand dollars. Right. And our target fifty nine thousand. Then we hit fifty nine thousand and we go through it and we reclaim it as support. And at that instance, of course, then we have sixty thousand dollars above us. Everything was looking good on the order flow for higher. And at that point, you have to just understand that this harmonic is becoming in terms of the short less and less and less probable. And I am no longer interested in the short trade. I am in no short trades. I am still in my longs. So this is where you have to really be able to just, well, I mean, kind of simple what's been going on here locally. Uh, just follow some basic market structure understandings, understand the order flow, which is slightly more complex, but it's not hard to understand the market structure. And look at this. We've originally that low put in off the harmonic low down here. We have just continuously built higher lows and higher highs, higher lows. Well, we're going on here to form new higher highs. So unless we see a sign of weakness, then I personally am still going to be looking for higher prices. It's like I've given a few updates today inside of the Champions member Discord section. And it's just one of these things that you could be super aggressive on the short trade here. You could be, right? It's not like... It's not like it's impossible. And I understand why some people could be very aggressive on the short trade here. So if we just load up that harmonic for a second and add it back on. OK, so what could what could people be thinking here in terms of the uh, harmonic trade setup? Well, if you're looking at it as more of a swing trade, right, then you would have this as your entry right now. You would have your invalidation stop loss above the top of A. And your target is all the way down there at 47K. You're looking at a massive risk to reward ratio trade, right? Few percent stop loss for looking for a potential 25, 30% gain, right? That I cannot deny in the terms of just looking at risk to reward ratio is a good risk to reward ratio trade. But would I say this is a good trade? Well, maybe you can understand I am not taking this trade. And so let me explain why. It comes down to me signs of strength versus signs of weakness. So let's take a look at the order flow together here, shall we? 
So in terms of the open interest, I think we can all agree open interest is increasing. We are seeing positive delta during the move up. This for me is bullish, okay? Because we are in a strong local uptrend supported by open interest increases, positive delta, you know, CVD moving up with price. This is positive signs on the order flow. So if everything is looking really positive, why would I take the short trade here? Well, the answer is I am not. So where could you look for a short, that would be off of a sign of weakness, right? So if we end up breaking down below, at this point anyway, daily open, well, then we're left with lots of trapped longs during this area of consolidation for all of today. Okay, so today, with all of this consolidation, if we lose daily open, that then leaves us millions of trapped longs at the high. And that is where I would say, in terms of the harmonic, now again, I'm not sure if I would really trade this off of the harmonic short or just the sign of weakness, to be fair. But that's where I could be more understanding. Rather, and this is what com comes down to in trading, like how conservative versus aggressive do you want to be? I am more conservative here, so I would not have any need to want to try and time the high with a short at $63,000. Lose the daily open. Yeah, you're adding about 1.5% extra on the invalidation. But you would say you are increasing the probabilities because you have at least then seen a sign of weakness. Local market structure, lower term time frame, market structure changes, leaving trapped longs above the high. At the moment with a short trade, you are just shorting very big strength. Okay, and you have to understand as a trader how strength turns to weakness. Okay, so this strength that we are seeing right now on the order flow can only turn to weakness with a market structure change leaving trap longs. Unless that happens, well, as again, I repeat, I am not taking a short trade here. I still have my long trades open and I am not going to be, you know, taking more profits. I'm not going to be open in a short trade unless we see that sign of weakness. First, uh, initial sign of weakness, losing daily open, right? Biggest sign of weakness, okay, which would require a different trade entry, by the way, but of course, losing $60,000. So these are just some really key points that you have to be aware of um, when it comes to making trade decisions. And again, whether you want to try and be, you know, the absolute hero timing the higher to move in my example here uh, and my reading of the market, I don't think it's worth it because I do think you, you, it's very likely you're going to get stopped out by trying to short here. Let's place an alert just to see if anybody shorting during the past half an hour hour is going to get stopped out. So let's wait and see if that alert goes off. But my thought process and understanding right now is that they would be stopped out. So what can we be looking for next? And I just will say this, by the way, uh, really quick reminder that if you are interested in these updates live in the time, the readings of the markets, what we're looking at next, live trading streams. There is a live trading stream going on right now where you have Severin over here reading the market, trading the market. Uh, you know, actually see making some profits right now as well. So you know, if you want that kind of live trading streams, if you want the education, if you want the in-person events, we've got more events coming up as well. So all of that type of community aspect, then chartchampions.com is the place to be. It's as simple as that. Uh, for everybody else, resuming here back on YouTube, we are, of course understanding where the next then zone is above us we can see we got a weekly monthly coming in at 64,000 let's take the average there around 64,350 right we're looking at around here between the weekly monthly naked point of control just above us that's what I would call the next zone of resistance in what ultimately of course this is where you also need to understand time frames is where it can get slightly confusing for newer traders because here we are building bullish market structure but on the larger term time frame we are still building lower highs lower highs lower highs lower highs lower highs right so you have to understand on the big time frame you are building lower highs on the lower term time frame you are building higher lows and higher highs Okay, so that's something to bear in mind. So, of course, this is where you'd be looking for that lower high zone. And then if we clear this and flip it into support, we all know by now, I've been banging on it for months, 67,000, 67,500 major point of control of the range level, big targets there around 67 to 68,000 dollars, those monthly naked point of controls, right? I just feel 
extremely important right so for me that that's the way that i'm viewing the levels above us if we want to go for that lower high if we reclaim that up to 67k locally as you know as explains i feel that this bullish order flow is exactly as i'm reading it bullish i do not think it's a good time to jump into the short to try and time the high i think you're just going to be if you're trying to short here taking stop loss after stop loss after stop loss after stop loss after stop loss so instead of trying to time the high and just getting stopped out, you know, 10 trades in a row, maybe you finally get the winner, but I don't think it's worth 10 losses to one win. I would say wait for some sign of weakness. And then, yes, you're going to have a little bit of a bigger invalidation stop loss. But hey, you're not going to take so many losses because you're waiting for that weakness rather than shorting on massive signs of strengths. And though, you know, that's just, you know, if you see the way that I post, you know, what patience, patience being tested remaining looking for higher then when we hit 60,000 right order flow is still good for higher it's about making those informed decisions it's about reading the order flow understanding the context yeah just because we were looking at a harmonic you know a week two weeks ago again that had potential short zones but each time we've come up into those levels you know there hasn't actually been a big enough reaction the only one that could have been was this one on Friday night I did actually not short that on Friday night, I don't know, I think I wrote over here. Yeah, no short trades for me open on... Uh, I'm sure I made a post over here on Twitter. I can't, I'm sure I made a post over on Twitter as well, though saying that I did not short the Friday night weekend price action as well. That would have... Uh, yeah, again, there is the alert going off. So it just goes to show you once again, everybody that shorted over the past hour, once again, stop losses being hit. You know, I think that just proves what I'm saying. It's it's not really so good to try and time the high. You're going to take 10 losses before you maybe eventually get that win. I think it's better off just waiting for a sign of weakness, which is losing market structure. Otherwise, yeah, what, what's the point in just trying to short this strength? So, <laughs> yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope it's made sense. My reading and understanding of the harmonic got me that long trade it's the long i'm still in today the short never came it is what it is i'm happy with that if we continue higher you know the next zones to be aware of here with these weekly naked monthly point of controls right here to between 63 700 to 64 that's holding the macro lower high if we break that let's move up to 67 in my opinion again be aware of the levels prior to that big sign of weakness losing 60k minor sign of weakness losing that daily open but for now look at this we are still making new highs as we continue up here what can i say uh read the order flow and don't short when there is clearly no short trade to be had so yeah hope you've enjoyed everybody thank you ever so much if you want more updates from myself and the rest of the team you know where to get it chartchampions.com thank you ever so much have a brilliant day ahead and please just remember this Trade the charts, lose your bias, lose your wants of the market, but just understand what is happening, the probabilities, they update always with new data. So be ahead of the market, ahead of the curve, and just trade the order flow. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. That's me signing out. I'll see you in the next video on YouTube, probably in one or two weeks. Uh, if you want a video from me uh, sooner than that, well, of course, it's going to be on the Champions website. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and have a brilliant day. Goodbye.